हेलो फ्रेंड माई सेल्फ आर डी महाजन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एम आई टी औरंगबाद प्रेजेंटिंग माई वीडियो ऑन द टॉपिक मल्टीपल इंटीग्रल फर्स्ट पॉइंट डबल इंटीग्रेशन लेट एस सी द एग्जाम्पल इवेल्युएट डबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स वाई विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वाई ओवर द एरिया बाउंडेड बाय एक्स एक्सिस सेकेंड द ऑर्डिनेट एट एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू टू ए एंड एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू फोर ए वाई एरिया बाउंडेड बाय दिस थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कर्स therefore we try to draw the figure for it in x y coordinate system x axis y axis origin uh it is bounded by x axis ordinate at x is equals to 2a and the curve x square is equals to 4ay x square is equals to 4ay this curve is symmetrical about y axis passing through origin opening in upper side Uh, this is the curve x square is equals to four a y. Then the line x is equals to two a, a line parallel to y axis at distance x is equals to two a approximately. Therefore, we try to show that line. x is equals to two a. And therefore, area bounded by these three curves, we try to shade it a uh, parabola line and x-axis. Therefore, if we try to shade that region. this is that region then point of intersection point of intersection of all these three curves uh, this one origin uh, this point is x is equals to 2a y coordinate is 0 uh, x is equals to 2a if we solve it for y it is x square by 4a means 4a square by 4a we get that value of y coordinate as e and then we make a strip in this curve either parallel to x axis or parallel to y axis here i am making a strip parallel to y axis which we are calling as a elementary strip whose lower end is on x axis upper end on this curve x square is equals to 4ay and then as it is parallel to y axis first integration is with respect to y and then with respect to x therefore we write down that procedure as strip is parallel to x axis strip is parallel to y axis we first integrate with respect to we first integrate with respect to y between the limits y is equals to 2 y equals to uh, for that we see the 
ends of that trip. A lower end lies on the x-axis, means y equals to 0, that is the equation of x-axis. Upper end lies on this curve, solving it for y, we get y is equal to x square by 4a. Then, the result is integrated, result is integrated with respect to x by moving that strip by moving the strip throughout the region between x is equal to therefore we start where the region starts and we move up to the line where region ends therefore this is the line where region starts that is y axis means equation is x is equal to 0 to x is equal to this line it is 2a Therefore, these are the limits for the integration and therefore that integral becomes i is equal to double integration of uh, the term is xy. First we have to integrate with respect to y between the limits y is equal to 0 to y is equal to x square by 4a and then moving that strip between the line x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 2a and then we perform the integration as I had discussed in the uh, previous week. Performing that integration first with respect to y keeping outer as it is it is integral from 0 to 2a with respect to x. Uh, with respect to y, x is constant. Therefore, that term we take outside the integral sign. Integration of y with respect to y is y square by 2 and limits from 0 to x square by 4a which way to integrate with respect to x and therefore it is a 1 by 2 constant I can take it outside integral from 0 to 2a substituting the upper limit and lower limit upper limit for y is x square by 4a the first square of it it is x square by 4a its square minus lower limit 0 and then its integration with respect to x integral from 0 to 2a x uh, performing the square of it it is x to 4 by 4 square that is 16 and a square and then its integration with respect to x therefore 16 a square constant term taking outside therefore it becomes 1 by 32 a square integral from 0 to 2a of x s to 5 and then its integration with respect to x and therefore it is 1 by 32 a square integrating this with respect to x Integration of x s to 5 is x s to 6 by 6 limit from 0 to 2a. Substituting the limit, it is 1 by 6 into 1 by 32a square. Uh, 2a bracket s to 6. 
therefore it is 2 raised to 6 a raised to 6 lower limit 0 uh, 2 raised to 6 means it is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 6 times 2 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32, 32, 32 get cancelled. Therefore, it is remaining 2 by 6. 2 by 6. And a raised to 6 divided by a square, we get a raised to 4. And therefore, the required value is a raised to 4 by 3 is the value of that double integration over this uh, bounded area bounded by three different curve x axis ordinate at x is equals to 2a and the curve x square is equals to 4ay hmm. therefore uh, I will repeat the steps what we have to do the first step try to draw the figure then uh, obtain the required region of integration. Then find the point of intersection. Here the point of intersection. One is 0, 0. Second one is 2A, 0. And third one is 2A, A. Then draw the strip either parallel to x-axis or parallel to y-axis. Here I have drawn it parallel to y-axis. And as it is parallel to y-axis, uh, your first integration is with respect to y only. And then uh, obtain the limit with the help of that strip. Lower end lies on x axis means y is equal to 0. Upper lies on the curve x square is equal to 4ay means we get y is equal to x square by 4ay. 4a sorry. And then moving that strip uh, the point where region starts and up to the point where region ends. And moving that throughout the region. Therefore we take that strip here on y axis equation is x is equals to 0 we move it up to this line that line is x is equals to 2a therefore first step is to get the limits with the help of that figure and after getting that limits perform the integration first with respect to y substitute the limits whatever that result integrate with respect to x between the limits and then performing the integration Substituting the upper and lower limit, we get the required result. Uh, see the steps. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 to 5 steps. Hmm. Therefore, this is the example where limits are not given. Hmm. Instead of that, some region is provided. And using that region, we can obtain the limits. And after getting limits, uh, we apply the procedure of finding the double integration. Uh, if you are watching my videos, please like and share it as well as subscribe to my channel for latest updates. Thank you. Thank you very much.